Okay, today I want to talk about updates. I don't know if you use updates in Schoology, but I do every day. Why? We have this synchronous, asynchronous schedule. It's confusing for me and it's still confusing for students. So I post an update every day, whether it's synchronous, whether it's asynchronous, and what we're going to be doing that day. And originally in the beginning of the year, I would just type it into Schoology. So it looks like this, this kind of font, okay, and that size. Then I realized I could um, post it from a Google Doc and it would have the slightly larger font, which I liked. And then I would just through the Schoology update, add some underlining or bold, uh, kind of spice it up a little, but I still wasn't super happy with it. And then what I discovered is that Schoology will allow you to copy and paste from a Google Doc as an update and it will keep everything. So what do I mean? Oh my gosh, brilliant. So I started this document right here, which has daily updates and I created a template. So let's just go to my template. So here is my general format, okay? So when it's a synchronous morning, um, you know, good morning, it's synchronous, the plan, the objective, what's due, reminding them when the marking period ends. I do that from the beginning of the marking period to the end. And here's when it's asynchronous, what the plan is. And then if it's an asynchronous morning, those classes are kind of flip-flopped. Okay, so then what do I do? So, well, let's copy, uh, well, well, let's look first at one that's already set up. So here I have these weeks. I don't have the information put in yet, but they are um, ready to go for me to add the plan, what's due, all that information. So let's go here to the fifth and let's start on week eight. So here's just how I set it up. So the first time I'll just show you, I went to help and I went to heading. Okay, and this is heading one. This makes the document clickable as you can see on the left menu. So I'm gonna apply heading one. Now the title is here. And to all of this, okay, I want to apply heading two. Now you can see that now I can just use control alt one or control alt two. So I'm gonna apply heading two and you can see all of those dates pop up, okay? So then I'm gonna do the same thing here, but control alt one, okay? So this is how I do the first initial setup, control alt two. All right, so let's just, oops, I put a dot there. All right, so let's just stop this part for a second and let's go to my plan book. So you can see the week of the eighth, we are asynchronous um, in the morning. Okay, so let's go back. On the 8th, we're asynchronous in the morning. So let's scroll down to my asynchronous morning and let's, I don't need the asynchronous morning. I just wanna copy this, so control C. Let's go back to the 8th, okay, and control V, paste it in. Look at that, so that is ready to go. So let's look at the rest of the week. Um, so I'm synchronous in the afternoon, in the asynchronous here. Oh, I'm asynchronous in the morning, also on Wednesday that week. Okay, so that is the 10th. So I'm going to paste that there. So I'm asynchronous in the morning on that day. Okay. And then I would go to the uh, synchronous morning. Okay, copy this. Go back to where I was on the 8th, and then that means, let's just double check, afternoon asynchronous. Okay, so this should be synchronous morning, perfect. Synchronous morning, synchronous morning. Okay, I'll just uh, delete this little bit of extra space. I like to keep it just kind of um, tighter together. Uses up less space. Okay, there we go. Oh, one extra space here. Okay, so now what's the point? Okay, so once I have it updated, so let's just pretend this is ready to go, all right? So let me go back to Schoology. So all I did was copy and paste that, okay? Uh, let's go to Schoology, but let's go to uh, my practice course so that I'm not actually pasting that in for my students who would be like, what is going on? So let's go to updates. And I'm just gonna control V. Look, it literally keeps everything as it is. What I do for all of the directions, I just highlight it and I make it into a numbered list. Okay. Then when I post it, 
all of the color, all of the bold, all of the underlying that it already had formatted is kept. It's brilliant. It's color coded for my students. They know what to look for. Okay. Also, let me show you this amazingness. Okay. So let's just scroll down. Uh, these are the ones I've already done. Okay. But let me just uh, go down here. Okay. So do you see I have some just some notes for students? And here's what I discovered. So take from Bitmoji and uh, so let's see. So let's just say this one right here. Okay, now this is awful large. Okay, so let's just shrink it down a little bit. And say this is the message that I want to post to my students. Okay, let's just enter that onto the next slide. So I want to say have a wonderful break, break happy Valentine's Day, I'll miss you. So what I'm going to do is copy all of that, including the image. So control C, let me go back to my practice course here, control V, and look. The picture, literally the image shows up. So if you have it ready in a Google Doc, you can copy and paste and the color, the formatting, the images are preserved. And yes, when I post this, it preserves, it shows. So exactly what I had in the Google Doc shows up in Schoology. This is a way to really improve updates, make them more your style and not just that horrible, simple font. So I hope this helps you.